K900 is an all new premium luxury vehicle from Kia. It's powered by a 420 horsepower V8 engine designed to compete with some of the best cars in the world in the premium luxury segment at a much more reasonable price point, something closer to the mid luxury, like a BMW 5 Series or Mercedes E Class. So you get the full performance of a premium luxury car, BMW 7 Series or whatnot at a far more reasonable price point. Speaking of price points, a couple of prices, one with a VIP package, the other one, but still loaded. Exactly. Our V8 standard luxury version is 59500 has unsurpassed level of standard equipment, such as panoramic sunroof, LED headlamps, navigation, and Napa leather seats, and the list goes on and on and on. And for 65.5, our VIP package adds the rear seat VIP components, plus some additional technology features as well. Yeah, I'm noticing the, uh, the moon roof, or the panorama roof, you call it, goes over the top as opposed to staying inside the roof, and that's simply because of the design and curvature of the roof? That, and we want to ensure that the rear seat occupants also have a good amount of headroom. So if we put it inside the rear of the vehicle, it reduces the amount of headroom inside the vehicle. So it goes on top to enhance uh, comfort, comfort of the vehicle. The Hyundai is obviously the mothership back in Korea, and they've got the Equus and the Genesis, and this obviously must have kind of spawned out of... The, the mothership, so to speak, with the quality of work on those on the Hyundai side. Yeah, sure, the, the Hyundai Motor Group is obviously the parent company of both companies, but the architecture is similar as the Equus, but the cars are very di entirely different. All different exterior panels, different in interior of the vehicle, and it's tuned substantially different than our, our sister product for our different flavors of customers. Well, this is Kia's first V8 engine, and I think it's probably shared on the other side as well, right? That's exactly right. It's our first V in our sedan, and it is similar architecture as the one in the Equus, but we feel that the vehicle delivers a high level of performance with zero to 60 times, well under six seconds. What are you expecting for sales in the U.S.? You know, typically we don't address, uh, we don't give out volume numbers, but our internal metrics, we suspect, we expect a fair amount of volume, but we don't release numbers out publicly. But it's not just about volumes, it's about what it does for the brand. It actually lifts the brand and creates a halo effect for all of, of, of the other vehicles in our lineup. Taking it to the dealer where they're also selling cars in the mid-teens, and then you have this one in the mid-60,000s, obviously the experience may have to be a little bit different for the customer of this high-end car. Sure, you know, the uh, experience, you know, there's only a select number of K900 or K900 dealers that can sell this vehicle. So there's about a little over 200 dealers at this point out of over about over 750 dealers that have been trained and uh, have their su sufficient type of signage requirements to sell the K900, including training as well. So it will elevate the dealership experience, not for just the K900 stores, but all our other stores as well as the learning uh, resonates throughout the company. So somebody drives in in one of these to get serviced, uh, they get a little bit more pampering than maybe somebody coming in uh, in you know, the entry level models? Sure, the K900 consumer expects more, demands more, and we're there to deliver, absolutely, their, their uh, requests. Yeah, because Kia's had explosive growth, and I guess one of the issues is uh, the service departments being able to keep up with all the sales and you know, getting customers in and out for the regular maintenance and that kind of thing. Sure, you know, the experience is we have a tremendous growth. Our second year with over half a million units. Um, the K900 dealerships are trained and be able to handle high volumes of Kia vehicles. The K900 volume is you know, far, obviously a little bit less than some of our mainstream uh, models, but they are trained and be able to accommodate our K900 customers to the absolute highest level. A couple of the points that would compare this to, say, you said a BMW 5 Series, but also a 7 Series because of the, the size of the car. The advantages are that so much is included. What else can you really say? Well, size-wise, it competes against a 7 Series BMW. In fact, we have more interior passenger room than a BMW 7 Series at a price point much closer to that of BMW 5 Series with the highest a high level of uh, standard equipment. Again, unsurpassed levels of standard equipment on the K900 uh, V8. Reclining back seats. Part, part of the VIP package. I hope you get to experience that, but yes, we spoil our, uh, spoil our other K900 consumers. Not just the driver, but all occupants get spoiled in this vehicle and designed to pamper them and reward them for their hard work.